It's big and trick trivia time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina and Taco just for you. It's big and trick trivia time. And we'll feel it all out. All right, all right. Hello, welcome, everybody. Happy Monday evening. My name is Ali with Bag of Tricks Entertainment. Thank you so much for being here for our online Netflix trivia night sponsored by the Fountaindale Public Library. I'm going to tell you all about all uh, how this game works here in just a moment, but before I dive into any details, I want to make sure that everybody out there understands you won't actually be answering any questions there on YouTube. You're going to want to join the online interactive website in order to play. So you'll hear and see the questions here on YouTube, but to answer, have your questions scored and graded, you need to join this website. It's very simple to do. Just open up your internet browser. Uh, you can do this from your phone or from your computer and just go to crowd.live and enter in the code that you see on the bottom of the screen here, 101121A. It's also today's date, 10, 11, 21, with the letter A after it. Once you've gotten to the website and you've put in that code, you're going to see a screen that looks just like this, asking you for a few pieces of information. The first one, it says enter your nickname. This is what you want to go by during the competition today. So whatever you put on that top blank is essentially your team name. Uh, secondly, it says enter your email address. Now, this is just in case you get kicked out of the, chat, uh, the, the game for any reason. Your internet freezes. If you rejoin using the same email address, you'll continue to earn points rather than starting from scratch. Last but not least, just for fun, we do always like to see where people are joining us from. So if you want to let us know, you can put that in the final two blanks. Either way, go ahead and click on go once you've gotten that filled out. And you're going to see this screen that says the game will begin shortly. That's it. That's all you need to do right now. Once you see this, you're in the right place. We're going to get the game started in just a moment. I just want to make sure that we give everybody time to join. And again, I'm going to go over how the game is played before we really start. So here we go. Let me come back on the screen once again. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Ali with Big of Tricks Entertainment. I'm your host this evening. However, I'm not alone in the room. This camera isn't working, but Gina's also in the room. Uh, Taco is here in the room. There he is. <laughs> Very passed out. Uh, hanging out with us tonight for our Netflix trivia. Uh, so... As you can imagine, tonight's trivia is all about Netflix. So it's uh, mostly the Netflix original TV shows, but there are some movie questions in here as well. Uh, but everything in here has something or other to do with Netflix, something that it's given us uh, over the course of its run with its own shows and films. So that's the big difference here tonight. If you're joining us for the first time or if you've been here before, I'm about to go over how the game is actually played, which is very simple. As long as you've logged into the site already, uh, you've done the hardest work you're going to do. From this point on, I'll be asking you trivia questions one at a time regarding something to do with Netflix, and you'll see them here on the screen. They will also show up on your device. You'll have a second to think about the question. And then I'm going to start the question timer. Every timer tonight will be 30 seconds per question. You'll have that much time to decide whether the answer is A, B, C, or D, because every single question tonight will be multiple choice. So we'll do one at a time. I'll ask you the question. I'll start the timer, at which point you have 30 seconds to choose between the four options on the screen. Now, one of those options is always correct. Three of them are always incorrect. All you have to do is choose the right answer but you want to do that as quickly as possible because the sooner you lock in your answer, the more points you're going to earn if you're correct. On the opposite end of that, if you're not sure, if you look at an answer, uh, look at a question and you have no idea what the answer may be, you should take a guess because you never lose points for being wrong. So you always have a reason to guess. And if you know the answer, lock it in as quickly as possible. You can earn up to 150 points per question, but that decreases as the timer goes down. So the quicker you lock it in, the more points you'll earn. If you're wrong, you earn nothing, but you lose nothing. That's all you need to know about how the scoring works. The questions tonight are not in any certain um, order. They're not 
from easy to hard and they're not ordered by movies and TV. It's just all about Netflix. We varied it up to keep you on your toes. We'll do typically about five or six questions at a time, and I'll give you about a 30-second break, at which time I'll show you the standings so you'll know where you're at throughout the evening. But other than that, we're ready to go. Uh, so we're going to dive right into this because the very first question tonight is actually a practice question. This one isn't going to be worth any points. This one is simply here so that whether this is your first time playing or not, you can see how the system works uh, and, and get some practice under your belt before we dive into the real questions with number two. So Yay. question number one, as you see on the screen, what is the name of your host today? Oops, actually, I need to change one thing. I apologize because it's already showing everything up. Give me one moment. Let me just pause this. Let me show you Taco for just a moment. All right, we should be good to go now. Let me just bring this back up on the screen. So this is our practice question. Uh, I believe this one's just about to finish. I got to take this down from here and put up the new screen. Sorry about that, everybody. All right, so this would have been our practice question. We didn't get to do it, so we're going to move right into question number two, which is the first real question of the evening. I guess you guys did get to answer. Uh, one of you said Paul. Six of you said Ali. Six of you were correct. Now, again, this was just a practice question, which is perfect since it was all messed up in the beginning. Uh, but we are going to move on to question number two now. This is the first real question of the the evening. So this is what the questions will actually look like. You see the question at the top, but you don't see the answer options yet. And you won't see those options until I start the timer. So here's the question for number two. After how many seasons did Netflix cancel the series The Punisher? It's one of the Marvel shows. How many seasons of The Punisher did we get on Netflix? Was it one, two, three, or four? <laughs> We're still looking at Taco and He's having bath time. Sorry about that. Thank you once again to the Fountaindale Public Library for sponsoring tonight's event. Uh, this is part of this entire month's event of Fandom Fest. You find all sorts of fun things going on at the library in addition to our trivia nights. Uh, make sure you check out the library's website, especially if you're in the Bolingbrook area. You're right there. No reason not to head over and check out some of the cool things that they have uh, to offer during this event, uh, including next week, we'll be back. I'll tell you more about this later, but with one more trivia night uh, as a part of this fandom fest. So let's look at what you thought here. One person said four seasons, if only. Uh, two people said three seasons and seven people said two seasons. Correct answer. Uh, it gets a little confusing because he was on Daredevil as well, but he got two seasons of his own. Two seasons of the Punisher. Hey, I just saw the chat here. Hey, John, Amy, Steph, and Steph. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here on this Monday evening. Here we go. Question number three. Not my show, but I know a lot of people enjoy it, so maybe you'll know the answer here. How much money does the winner of the Netflix show Too Hot to Handle receive? If you win Too Hot to Handle, how much money do you win? Is it $100,000, $250,000, $500,000, or $1 million? Alright, 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 alright. This is a tougher one, uh, as I can see by the amount of different answers we have coming in. But let's take a look at what we thought. Two people thought it's $100,000. Two people thought you get $250,000. Half of you thought you get $500,000. Uh, one person said a million. That'd be nice. The correct answer is actually only $100,000 for winning Too Hot to Handle 
on Netflix. Oh, how fun. Uh, great job. Two people got points there. And we are moving on to question number four. Uh, Cobra Kai, very popular show, is an American action comedy drama based on what film series? Based on, it's a retelling of what film series? Is it Mortal Kombat, Anaconda, Kung Fu Panda, or The Karate Kid? All right. Whoops, that's too loud. Hello. All right, we're back. I apologize. The audio is going to go wacky for a second. This is one of those nights. Uh, the headphones were not working, so you weren't going to be able to hear me at all. But now we've got it back on there. You should be able to hear me. Sorry if you have to adjust that volume up or down. Uh, but let's take a look at this. The correct answer. One person said Anaconda. I would love to see a TV show based on Anaconda. Uh, but the correct answer is The Karate Kid. Karate Kid. Ralph Macchio reprising that role cobra kai question number five we'll do this one we'll take a look at the standings netflix released the film the five bloods in june of last year one of the last films you would see chadwick boseman in who directed the film who directed the five bloods released on netflix in last june was it denzel washington spike lee chadwick boseman or jordan peele All right, all right, all right. Let's take a look. Two people said Denzel Washington. One person each said Chadwick Boseman and Jordan Peele. Eight of you correctly said Spike Lee. Spike Lee did that. Spike Lee joint, if you will. We're going to take a look at the standings for the very first time. I'll let Taco go through these with you as he's asleep. Uh, let's throw him up on the board. Let's see where we're at. Currently in first place is Uncle Honk. In second is Kitten Mittens, uh, tied with Astard. In fourth place currently, it's over, Bananakin. Fifth is SF Curtis, the Angelicas, Artie, and Winnie in sixth. Team Coast to Coast is in seventh. Steffi Sar is in eighth, just uh, barely uh, 50 points ahead of Mama Lens in ninth. We have JM Rod in tenth, Mergdalu in eleventh, and loading Netflix trivia name, Case of mondays i do feel you there all right we're moving on question number six this netflix trivia here we go uh in which city does every netflix released marvel tv show take place so the marvel shows on netflix all take place in what city is it chicago new york philadelphia or los angeles Everybody is in. Let's take a look. Don't forget, if you're not sure, you should take a guess. Don't leave it blank. Nine people said New York City. One person each said L.A. and Chicago. The correct answer, New York City. This is home base of the Marvel Universe. Great job. Question number seven. Uh, it's a pretty specific question, maybe a little bit tougher. In the documentary series High Score released last year i believe which video game uh was featured because it was such a commercial failure that millions of unsold cartridges were buried in new mexico it produced millions of unsold cartridges of which of these games was it dr jekyll and mr hyde et the extraterrestrial custer's revenge or hotel mario 
Hey, thanks for the tip. Thank you. Uh, Jess, thanks for the tip. Appreciate it. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a tip like, do better next time. Oh, yeah. No, not that kind of tip. A monetary <laughs> tip. Thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody's in. Uh, this, uh, I know, was unconfirmed for quite a while, but they confirmed it in this documentary for sure. The correct answer, millions of unsold cartridges of E.T., the extraterrestrial. It was, <laughs> it was bad. If you haven't seen this documentary series and you like video games at all, I'd highly recommend it. Uh, question number eight. According to the research firm NPD Group, sales of what specific product surged at incredible 87% in 2020 following the popularity of Netflix show The Queen's Gambit? Was it diamonds, tiaras, poker chips, or chess sets? doing very well so far let's see if we keep it up to the end here all right everybody is in let's see what we said one person said diamonds 11 people said chess sets the correct answer was chess sets good job chess sets great job everybody <coughs> excuse me question number nine uh, just looking for the title of a show here. Set in a future in which interstellar travel occurs by transferring consciousnesses between bodies. Which Richard K. Morgan novel is now a Netflix series? Which of these Netflix series described by that? Is it Altered Carbon, Labyrinths, The Wind-Up Bird Chronicle, or Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Pretty well here. A couple seconds left. Let's take a look. Everybody's in. Correct answer is Altered Carbon. Nine of you got it right. Great job. Altered Carbon. A couple seasons of that now, I believe. At least two. Uh, we'll do question 10. We'll take another look at those standings. Question number 10. What historical drama based on books by Diana Gabaldon can be found on Netflix? What are you watching if you're watching a historical drama based on books by this individual? Is it North and South, Outlander, Downton Abbey, or Peaky Blinders? All right, everybody's in. Uh, let's take a look. Overall, we did well here. A couple people said Peaky Blinders. Great guess. Eight people said Outlander. The correct answer is Outlander. I actually haven't watched this one yet. Everybody says we need to. Outlander. Watch it and then go on too hot to handle. <laughs> you won't be able to, apparently. Uh, all right. I'm going to throw the scores up on the screen. And just a, a bit of warning, I'm going to cut the feed on YouTube for just a couple seconds here because it looks like it's lagging. Uh, so you guys will still be able to see the scores, check your rankings here, but YouTube, uh, the video is going to disappear for just a moment, but I'll be right back. Here are the current standings. Take a look at those. I'll be back in just one second. All right, we're back, and it looks to be working a little better. So here we go, question number 11. 
question 11. In which Netflix series do we see Helena Bonham Carter as Britain's Princess Margaret? What show are you watching if HBC is Britain's Princess Margaret? Is it The Duchess, The Crown, The Tudors, or Rain? Couple more seconds. Get those guesses in. Taco chose the one way delay that you just can't see him at all. He's completely on the camera. Listen, he's had a long day. He's <laughs> it's to like uh, non confrontational protest. He's like, oh, I'll be on camera. <laughs> oh. uh, my whole body will be in the frame. <laughs> but you won't get my yeah, you, you can't say I'm not living up to my contract. Oh my gosh. Ah, all right. Uh, everybody's in. I thought maybe a few of us might go a different route here, but nobody was fooled. The correct answer is the crown. Crown. Everybody got points. Great job. Question number 12. 12. <laughs> Which of the following options is not the name of one of a character, one of the characters? On uh, Netflix is Stranger Things. Which of the following options is not a real name of one of the characters on Stranger Things? It's first and last names. So which of these is not a real character? Is it Erica Sinclair, Mike Wheeler, Max Mayfield, or Joe Lamb? Guess is coming in. Everybody's in, and we were not sure in the beginning. Uh, a lot of these guesses came in later. Uh, three people said Erica Sinclair. That's Dustin's sister. Three people said Max Mayfield. Queen. That's that's Max, uh, the the addition in the second season there, and Joe Lamb is not a real character on the show. Joe Carey is Steve, uh, but that's the Kiri. I, I just I just like him. It has nothing to do with the answer here. Question number thirteen: What British makeup competition show is hosted by Stacey Dooley? What show are you watching? British makeup competition show hosted by Stacey Dooley. Is it Beat the Seat, Face Off? Glam Masters or Glow Up? <laughs> I miss. Oh, I guess I could be watching these old Simpsons on Disney Plus, which the animation looks so different. All right, all right, all right, all right. Everybody's in. We went one of two ways. Either Face Off, four people said, or Glow Up, seven people said. Face Off is the name of a competition show, but it is a special effects makeup competition show, and that was on Sci-Fi. Correct answer here is Glow Up. Glow Up. Face Off is a cool show. I love Face Off. Uh, question number 14. Which of the following options is the name of a character that is the best friend of Matt Murdock, a.k.a. Daredevil? What is the name of Matt's best friend on Daredevil? Is it Benjamin Poindexter, Frank Castle, Foggy Nelson, or Karen Page? I just rewatched these. I didn't redo the third season because I think there's three of this one. I just rewatched both of The Punisher and both of Daredevil. I'd like to watch. You did you want to watch Luke Cage? Did we talk about that? Or we just started watching it together. I finished it. I know well, you... like every show, we started <laughs> Jessica Jones and Luke Cage together, and then I went to work one day. <laughs> and I finished and it all went to the whole season <laughs> that day. Uh, everybody's in. Two people said Frank Castle. That might sound familiar because that's the name of The Punisher. Correct answer is Foggy Nelson. Nelson and Murdoch. Turning it law. All right, question number 15. We'll do this one. We'll take another look at the standings. Which spinoff 
of Girlfriends features Tia Maori, Pooch Hall, Brittany Daniel, and Kobe Bell navigating relationships in the world of professional football. What is the name of the show described here? Is it The English Game, Friday Night Lights, The Game, or Last Chance You? What is, what is Tia and Tamara's little brother? Is it TJ Maori? Yeah. What's he up to? Taj Maori. He was oh. TJ on Smart Guy. He's 35. Oh, he's from Hawaii. What's he doing nowadays? The top search on Google. What is Taj Maori doing now? Oh, right in the screenplay. Glamour published an article that says Taj Maori is husband material. Oh. Wow, wow. Tell me more, Glamour. Uh, two people said Last Chance You. Eight people said The Game. One person said Friday Night Lights. Fantastic show, but not the correct answer here. The correct answer is The Game. The Game. All right, question number 15 is done, so we're going to take a look at the standings. Here they are. Team Coast to Coast has slid into first place here. Space Coast, Coast to Coast. Um, we have Kitten Mittens in second, and it's over, Banana Can in third. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. We'll get the next set started here in just a moment. All right, we've all had time to see. Let's move on to question number 16. What is the name of the Netflix sequel to Full House? Sequel is a weird word for a TV show, but it is. What is the name of the Netflix new adaptation of Full House? Is it a house most full, fullest house, fuller house, or Full House 2? Do you, is there a name for a show like this? A sequel to a TV show? Is it just called a sequel? I think so. Couldn't tell you for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's just called a s sequel <laughs> television series. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, one person said fullest house. I love that. Ten people said fuller house, which is the correct answer. I I believe that I would like it, but I've never watched an episode of Fuller House. I mean, I think it was I I saw some uh, scenes when it first came out, and it seemed too campy for me. Well, yeah, I've never seen it. Either. People loved it. I yeah. will say. Uh, here's a show that won a bunch of awards uh, just last year, I believe, on Netflix, The Kaminsky Method. Sandy Kaminsky, played by Michael Douglas, regularly orders a uh, slightly unusual drink. It is a Jack Daniels and what? What is his go-to drink? Um, it's not super unusual, just not a super common drink. Jack Daniels and what? Is it ginger ale, Mountain Dew, Diet Dr. Pepper, or Tab? I'm always told to watch this show. Yeah. I've watched a little, not a lot. I think the the name of it uh, <laughs> made me think it was a documentary, and then I went to it, and oh. then when I figured out it wasn't a documentary, I was like, I, then I was disappointed because I wanted a documentary, um, and I probably didn't give it the chance it deserved. Oh. All right, everybody's in. This is a tough question. I don't think that this would taste bad at all. Uh, I think it probably tastes pretty good. I think Gina would agree. Jack Daniels and Diet Dr. Pepper. Oh, I'd love that. Yeah, I thought so. That would be delicious. Diet Dr. Pepper. So slightly tougher question here. Pretty specific. Question number 18. This one a little bit easier. Which Netflix original series stars Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin? Is it Grace and Frankie, Black AF, Kim's Convenience, or Happy?
yeah, this this one. <laughs> this will make us all take a, take a nice breath, feel good here in the middle of the game. We've had some tough questions, and uh, I think this is going to be our first in quite a while. I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, here we are. Nobody missed it. Grace and Frankie. Do they know when we're getting more? Because you got those four episodes. Next year. Next year. All right. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> question number 19. Uh, this is a little bit of a tougher one. This movie, I feel, came out under the radar. Uh, I don't think it performed super well, but I liked it. Which of the following actors does not appear in Project Power, which was a 2020 Netflix original superhero movie? Which of these actors was not in that film? Is it Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Jamie Foxx, Courtney B. Vance, or Michael B. Jordan? Which of these actors, actresses was not in Project Power? All right, everybody's in. Two people have said JGL, Jason Gordon-Levitt. One person said Jamie Foxx. Four people said Courtney Vance. All three of those gentlemen were in the film. Michael B. Jordan was not. He was too busy doing a lot of other films uh, at the same time. But he was not in this one. Question number 20. Which actor provides the voice for the title character Bojack from Netflix, Bojack Horseman. Who provides the voice of Bojack? Is it Nick Kroll, John Mulaney, Will Arnett, or Aaron Paul? All right, all right, all right, all right. A little over halfway. Most of you were pretty quick with this answer. Whether you were correct or not, we'll find out together here in just a few. All right, let's take a look. Everybody's in. One person said Nick Kroll. This is one show he's not providing many voices for. Correct answer here is Will Arnett. Will Arnett, Batman himself. That's question 20. Let's take a look at these standings. Currently in first place, still Team Coast to Coast, and Kitten Mittens is still in second. It's over Bananakin right there in third. If you take a look at the right-hand side of the screen, you can see it is a very close game. Only 12 points between first and second. Uh, that's only three seconds. That means Coast to Coast has answered over all 20 questions a total of three seconds faster. Uh, so just absolutely incredibly close right now and you can see that all the way down the side of the board there still anybody's game we have 15 questions left lots of points up for grabs here we go question number 21 jennifer aniston and adam sandler believe it or not starred in a murder mystery comedy film 2019 titled what what was the title of the film starring Jennifer Anderson and Adam Sandler in 2019. Was it the bottom of this? Let's be detectives. <laughs> Who done it or murder mystery? We should watch that silly Halloween movie. Oh, yes. The one that got the reporter fired. I think we were watching it a year ago today, actually. We were on our honeymoon. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What did you do on your honeymoon? Watch Adam, <laughs> Adam Sandler, Sandler films. <laughs> Why not? We didn't watch this one, though. We'd already seen it. This one we watched right when it came out. All right, everybody's in. Correct answer here is Murder Mystery. Very original. I think we were getting a sequel to this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? I think they confirmed that. I heard that as well. Adam Sandler, cush job with Netflix. He's I am. having a good time. I, that is an actor I do envy there. All right, question 22. What is the name of the Netflix original film about two police officers, very different backgrounds in a world where magic exists? What is the name of this Netflix film? Two police officers in a world where magic exists. Is it shine, light, bright, or glow? 
never heard of it in my life. You had, if you saw the. Oh, never mind. I yeah. know exactly. What's yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. In 2014, sorry, just following up, Adam Sandler inked a deal with Netflix to produce six films for $250 million. And then more recently, he just added four more films to it in 2020. Hmm. Oh, what a dude. I love Adam Sandler. Everybody's in. Three people said Shine. One person said Glow. Eight people said Bright. This was the Will Smith film. Uh, I was paired with an orc. That was Bright. Right. This was a film that would have done much better as a series, a limited series. If they had done eight episodes and expanded the world a little bit, I think it would have done better. I watched it. I liked it. But uh, I don't think a lot of people did. Question 23. Which of the following characters <laughs> did not appear in Marvel Netflix's miniseries, The Defenders? Who was not in The Defenders? Was it Matt Murdock? Clint Barton? Danny Rand or Electra Nachos? Mm. <laughs> That's why I married you. <laughs> mm, I said Electra Nachos and Gina said mm, Nachos. <laughs> I am hungry as well. All right, all right, all right. A couple seconds left. And let's take a look. A couple people said Matt Murdock. That's the Daredevil, uh, or just Daredevil. He was in The Defenders. Clint Barton is the correct answer here. That's Hawkeye. Uh, he did not appear in that series. Question 24. Which Netflix TV series are you watching if you see Jason Bateman as a character named Martin or Marty Bird? Is it Bloodline, Money Heist, Ozark, or Stranger Things? So out cold. Let's take a look. This one of the biggest original shows to come out of Netflix ever. Uh, really. Correct answer. Everybody got it. Ozark. Ozark. Good job. Everybody got points. Question number 25. The Netflix series The Crown focuses on the reign of which British monarch? Is it Elizabeth II, Henry VIII, Victoria, or Elizabeth I? I want to watch the Mr. Bean version of The Crown. Oh, my God. <laughs> Everybody, almost everybody's in. And you still have a couple seconds, so if you haven't, get a guess in here. And let's take a look. Ten people said Elizabeth II. Ten people were correct. Great job. Great job. That is question 25. We'll take another look at the standings. See where you're at with ten questions left to go. It is still very close. Team Coast to Coast in first place. Uh, just about 100 points ahead of its over Bananakin in second. And Steffi Starr moved up into third place in the last set here. Kitten Mittens in fourth. The Angelicas, Artie and Winnie in fifth. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. You still have 10 questions left. 1,500 points up for grabs, which is a lot because this is a very close game. All right, here we go. Question 26. Which of the following shows is not the name of a Netflix baking series? Which of the following options is not the name of a Netflix baking series? Is it Chopped? Nailed it. 
The Great British Baking Show, or Zumbo's Just Desserts? seconds left this one I thought might be a little easier uh, but I always forget we're under the gun here they're only 30 seconds to answer you don't have a lot of time to think about it five people said chopped four people said Zumbo's just desserts two people said nailed it one person said the great British baking show the only one on here uh, that's not at all a baking series or more importantly a Netflix series is chopped chopped neither of the criteria here chopped on the food network that's a cooking competition great job the five people that got that question 27 the umbrella academy one of the most popular shows to come out of netflix is based on a comic book written by gerard way gerard way is also the lead vocalist famously for which band is it nickelback paramore arcade fire or my chemical romance Oh, thank y'all. All right, all right, all right. Everybody is in. Let's take a look at what we thought. One team said Paramore. 11 people team said my chemical romance which is the correct answer great job question 28 aaron sorkin you might have heard of him won the 2021 golden globe award for best screenplay for his netflix film based on which of the following famous trials was it the pentagon papers the chicago seven the salem witchcraft or the nuremberg which famous trials gave Aaron Sorkin a Golden Globe Award? All right, all right. Let's take a look. Good job. Everybody got an answer in here before time ran out. One team said the Pentagon Papers. One said the Nuremberg Trials. Ten people correctly said Trial of the Chicago Seven. Great job. Ten of you got points. Question number 29. All right, you do want to look at the picture here. It could help you out. What's the title of this Netflix film featured here in this picture about a six-foot, one-inch high schooler's love triangle? It's the title of this Netflix film six foot one inch high schoolers love triangle is it stand tall height tall girl or six foot one it's incredible that one of these is correct personally <laughs> no i mean not before i started looking up netflix stuff to write this trivia i have not watched this i think it's a uh, UK film. Uh, oh, but that's Angela in the back. Uh, Kinsey, what's her? Uh, yeah, from the office. Kinsey, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, everybody's in. Nobody thought it was called Six Foot One. Uh, one person said Stand Tall, one said Height. Ten people correctly said <laughs> appropriately named Tall Girl. Tall Girl. Great job. Hey, thank you, uh, Maribeth, for the tip. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, question number 30. Tom Ellis plays the Lord of Hell and part-time detective consultant on which, on which TV series uh, that was recently picked up by Netflix? Semi-recently. Uh, was it Supernatural, Lucifer, Penny Dreadful, or The Devil Next Door? halfway done with this one get those guesses in if you haven't yet it's another show i started 
and I don't I think I made it through one and a half episodes I know people love it you haven't seen this I don't think you've watched any of these right uh, the correct answer here one person said supernatural uh, 11 people said Lucifer Lucifer is just the correct answer Great job. 11 of you got points. All right. This is the last time we're going to look at the standings until, of course, we reveal the final standings at the end. Uh, but let's take a look. The final update we'll get. Team Coast to Coast is still in first, hanging on to that lead, but not by much. Less than 150 points, which means less than one question away from second place. Steffi Star, super close as well. Just about 149 points behind, so less than 150 as well and everybody else also doing very well within striking distance with five questions left to go here we go question number 31 what is the name of the netflix series that follows two rival brothers that must work together to keep their brewery in business while shenanigans keep foaming up their company with chaos <laughs> is it bottom of the barrel Bar Rescue, Brew Brothers, or The Hop Spot. This feels like it was, um, I don't even, how do you come up with these ideas? Um, Fair. Fair. All right, a couple seconds left. Let's take a look. You guys knew this one, no problem. 11 people correctly said the Brew Brothers. Brew Brothers. Uh, question 32. Nominated in 2020 for Outstanding Drama Series, the Duffer Brothers created which popular Netflix show? Is it Dead to Me, Ozark, The Kaminsky Method, or Stranger Things? Couple questions left. Lots of points left. And everybody is in here. Once again, great job. Let's take a look. One person said Ozark. Four people said Dead to Me. Fantastic <laughs> show. Seven people correctly said The Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Question number 33. In the 2013 animated film Turbo, and the subsequent Netflix series of the same name, what kind of creature is Turbo? Is it a butterfly, a sloth, a turtle, or a snail? on a couple answers get those guesses in if you're not sure snag yourself some points by chance maybe uh one team said sloth two people said turtle nine people said snail which is the correct answer great job question 34 unwell it's the name of a docuseries on netflix that tackles what controversial topic unwell tackles what controversial topic is it medical marijuana Vaccines, fasting, or euthanasia? Ooh. We are less sure about this one. These guesses coming in a lot slower. We're thinking about it. Doing our Jack Skellington impressions here. Scratching our heads. All right, let's see where we landed. Everybody is in, and we went a couple different ways here. Three people each said medical marijuana and fasting. Five people said vaccines. The correct answer in terms of what unwell is about is fasting. Fasting. So slight upset here. <laughs> Question 35. 
Oh, we got screamy greenies going on. Oh, do we? Uh, what is the name of the Netflix original series that stars the former WWE wrestler, Paul White, better known as Big Show? What is the name of the original series on Netflix starring Big Show? Is it Last Man Standing, Welcome to the Octagon, Back in the Ring, or The Big Show Show? All right, everybody's in. Uh, Paul White, The Big Show. No joke. This show is called The Big Show Show. The Big Show Show. Great job if you put The Big Show Show. <laughs> we have one final question, my friends. Before we do this, I just want to say one more time, thank you so much to the Fountaindale Public Library for sponsoring these events and putting these on. We do one event with the library every single month. It is the second Monday of every month. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this month is special because we are working within their Fall Fandom Fest. So last week we did some anime trivia. This week is Netflix shows. Next week, Monday at 7 p.m. is Marvel Cinematic Universe Trivia. I think there's at least a few of you that will be interested in that. Marvel Cinematic Universe Trivia next Monday at 7 p.m. Right here, just like this. It's free to play. Make sure you check out their page on Facebook. Give it a like. Check out our page. You can find the information for that. Uh, and then, as I said, we do this every single month regularly. Next month, we'll be doing New Girl Trivia on November the 8th. New Girl Trivia. And then in December, the final one of 2021, we'll be doing Holiday Films Trivia. So lots of fun things coming up. Thanks to the Fountain of Public Libraries. So I want to make sure to say thank you and recommend all of you, if you're physically far away check them out on facebook they're doing fun online things like this if you're in the area those of you in bolingbrook romeoville anywhere in this area check them out uh, head over to the library see what they have going on so with that here's question 36 the final question of the evening what 2014 fantasy film starring jeff bridges and julianne moore got a rough 12 percent approval rating on rotten tomatoes but has since found new life on Netflix in recent months. A new audience has found which movie these two actors. Is it Vampire Academy, Winter's Tale, The Giver, or Seventh Son? All right, everybody's in. This is the final question of the evening. So once again, thank you guys so much for being here. We're going to go over this answer. I love both these actors so much. Like, I'd watch anything. Well, maybe good. we'll give this a shot. Like the other people that have tried watching. Seventh Son! We had an upset <laughs> at the end. It's not the giver. Seventh Son, 2014 film with Jeff Bridges, Julianne Moore. Great job. Four of you digging points for that. So the last thing we have to do is look at the final standings. Now, whether you finish in first or last place doesn't matter. What matters is that you had fun tonight. So thank you guys so much for being here. I just hope that you've had as much fun participating as I have had hosting for you. And we will be back next Monday with that Marvel CU trivia. Until then, here is the final standings for tonight. Team Coast to Coast held it close. They got first place all the way at the end. They did not lose that from basically the beginning. Congratulations, that's a solid win. And SF Curtis snuck up here in the end. Great job. Up into second place, Steffi Sar. So two Stephanies taking the board in second and third. Team Coast to Coast in first. Everybody else, you've done wonderful. Until next time, be safe. Take care of yourselves. Be Take nice. care of each other. Thank you, Jeff, for the tip. I just saw that. I appreciate it. If anybody else sent a tip and I missed it, uh, I really appreciate it. We love you guys. Thank you so much for being here tonight, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.